guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2024. Woo! <laughs> I bet everyone, or I hope everyone's so excited for this year and I am especially, so I think it will be, I think we'll have a lot of fun. But, you know, it kicked off, the inspiration for this video, it kicked off with these documents dropping online about the Epstein case and... You know, for me, it was kind of like nothing I haven't heard before. Like maybe I live in an alternate reality, but I was just like, okay, you know, <laughs> I think, and I think most people watching my channel would say the same, that this isn't necessarily new information, but there's a couple ideas and a couple complexes on it that I want, wanted to, to go into or to um, cover in this video. So one of them is I started to, you know, I noticed that it's a lot of anger and um, which is justified. You know, it's it's valid. I'm not saying it's not valid, but a couple accounts stood out to me and, uh, you know, saying things like I was sexually abused or this happened to me or, you know, I've been traumatized and so we're going to, you know, I'm going to expose all these people and be an investigative journalist or run this account and everybody's going to see the truth and, and everybody's going to know the truth. And then the problem will be solved. And that there are phases to healing and that is certainly one of them. And so it's a process, right? Everybody's choosing to evolve their consciousness in a certain way, but it might come to a point where let's just play a game. Everybody's locked up in Gitmo or whatever, wherever they want to be. Every single person is held accountable, right? It doesn't take away the pain. It doesn't heal the consciousness. It doesn't heal the density or the complex that was created within the human race. It doesn't heal that. It just, it's like, you know, I think a lot of people, it would be helpful to listen to quote unquote victims or survivors or whatever label you want to call them of people who've gone through these experiences because most people will tell you like maybe they've had their abuser die or maybe they've had their abuser go to jail or maybe their abuser committed suicide. Um, I have personal friends that that's happened to and it does not take away the pain or the experience uh, of the experience. <laughs> it, it doesn't take away that you still had to live through that experience, right? And so first and foremost, there are no victims of the universe, which just, it just, you know, harpoons the whole, the whole thing. But we live in a free will universe, right? And so we chose these experiences for a reason. We chose this reality for a, a reason to help us transcend and evolve and basically say, hey, we don't like living on a planet run by pedophiles. <laughs> this is not, this is not fun. We're not having fun anymore. And the jig is up. And so we're going to create something new. And so in order to create something new, yes, there are legal things to go about, right? But in order to actually create something new, you have to heal and neutralize the consciousness in which it was created from, which is why I've been talking so much about the victim mentality, um, you know, the hero, hero, villain, victim complex. And so if you want to create the new earth, you have to create the consciousness or heal the consciousness, transcend the dense consciousness within yourself, and then your reality will reflect your inner reality. So you know, when I observe social media, uh, there's people who are different at different phases of healing. It's not wrong. It's a message and people connect with that certain message and then it will evolve over time, you know, and there's an idea there. That I think there's another idea behind it, right, that we're going to share these documents and or, you know, the truth, quote unquote, is going to come out. And then everybody on earth is going to be awakened and then we'll have a better planet. <laughs> is it, will it be that easy? You know, let's stay tuned. <laughs> but, but this is, the, but this is the thing is that people, people's consciousness, it is a filter. So people can only see, people only see what they want to see. 
And so people, you can tell somebody the truth flat out. You can show it in a court document and people will still see something else. You know, I could make a video about how the sky's blue. And I guarantee you, I know this from doing this for like at least four years. People will be like, Megan Rose said that the sky is green. Can you believe that? <laughs> so that's just the way it works. Everybody's evolving at um, a different level, right? So, but it's not to say that releasing documents, that court hearings and all of this isn't a catalyst for awakening. It's not a catalyst for questioning your reality, but it doesn't, when it comes down to actual awakening, it doesn't answer the questions of who am I? Why am I here? Who is God? Right? And then you enter, then there's certain accounts that are Christian or they have a spiritual or a more religious um, and spiritual outlook on it, right? And then I start to see, well, God, God will bring justice, right? And that is so fascinating to me because if you actually look in the Bible, right, there's, it depends on your interpretation of the Bible, right? Some people say the Bible is the truth, the only truth, but then you have billions of people that interpret that truth differently because why? They're seeing it through their own state of consciousness. <laughs> and I know like people's egos are just dying, like someone, someone tell me the truth, you know, it's just, it comes from you. What is the truth about you? But the thing about um, God will bring justice, right? So the thing is, God, what is God? So a frequency and energy, God is love, right? And what is, you know, the ego brain is the fight or flight response, right? It's the one that judges. It judges and it um, calculates outcome to keep the body, the physical body safe, right? But if you are eternal, if you are a part of God or if you are God, then why does it matter what happens in a physical reality? Because you are eternal. So you don't need to judge, right? Because you can't die. The ego judges because the ego can die, but you are not the ego, right? So this is where we have hell, we have heaven, and we have the war going on within people is their hearts say one thing, the brain says another, you know? And so it's very fascinating to watch this all play out. And there's several concepts in this video that I could talk about forever, but, um, I will mention one last thing before I end. The ego, all of these complexes, the matrix, belief systems, judgment, cannot exist in the presence of light, right? So what is going on is people are bringing the light in and the ego is dying. So the ego becomes more aggressive and more fearful because it senses that it's in danger in the presence of light, right? So when the light comes in, the density has to dissolve, it has to release, right? And this is where I keep repeating the message is do not consent to fear, right? And allow it if you are afraid of something, if the ego starts to judge and get really, I don't know, mean, <laughs> address it, expose your own ego, and then you won't have to expose other people. And I think we'll see a lot of, you know, if I had a 2024 prediction, depending on where your consciousness is, it's going to either look like heaven or it's going to look like hell. And so basically the choice is yours. And I will leave you with that. And I love you guys. And I'll be back with more videos.